This one is one. This one is for my one and true leader, Megatron. Megs, you're so cool. And with my science, we're gonna rule. Megs, understand? I'm gonna serve you till the very end. Mega, 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 megatron, mega, 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 megatron, I'll serve you. Oh, Optimus Bumblebee and a Jetfire too. A thousand auto troopers wouldn't keep me from you. Megatron, at the end of the line, I'll serve you indeed. Oh, Mega, 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 Megatron, Mega, 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 Megatron, I'll serve you. Oh, Megatron, Megatron, Megs, Megs. Was that cringy enough for you? Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, I'm I'm doing a live stream. Um, that's kind of our thing that we we do right now. That's what that's what the the intent is right now. That's what we're doing, and that's how it is. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah, masterpiece shockwave. Thank you for the the whatever that was. You know, I didn't ask him to. He just did it. So apparently, I'm supposed to say thank you. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we're doing a, a live stream, and hopefully later today I'll be able to film a review for the Red Cog figure, because I, I, I just don't like doing that. Uh, that Red Cog review wouldn't come out until July, but I've been doing a lot of reviews that will come out later, so that's why. Uh, also, I want to give a quick update to the reviews that are happening this month. So, most of them are up. Uh, the only one that's coming out... On the 30th is going to be for Crimson Flame. I wanted to get that review out. So uh, that will be on the 30th. And then after that is April. And we are going to do stuff with a whole bunch of Dino Bots. So the first is going to be Follow Cybertron Grimlock. And then the Saturday after that is going to be, I think it's Studio Series 86 Slug. Then after that it's going to be Studio Series 86 Slug. Uh, yeah, Sludge. And then Studio Series 86, what's the other one? Snarl. And then the last one so far is um, Cyberverse uh, Slug. Yeah. Um, so I want to say also that I might be getting kind of like a sponsor, almost a sponsor thing. Uh, I hope that Dr. Lockdown is doing all right. He, he's, I'm, I'm sure he's okay. You know. it, it, it's... It doesn't seem like stuff that's uh, out of the ordinary. I mean, I hope for the, the best with him. Send, send him love and good wishes. Um, but it's not... It, it doesn't sound like stuff that's out of the ordinary for him. It doesn't sound like stuff that... Um, you know, he'll be able to, to handle. I know that he shouldn't. Because, you know... It's, it, it's stressful. Nobody should, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah. Also, on, on the side of me, I just have a whole bunch of figures that I just, uh, brought out in case I needed it for the Red Cog review. So, I've got that Aragon figure that's already a Red Cog, and then I got Cog himself. So, lots of Cogs. So, uh, and then I also brought out Melhawk. This is just one for me to mess around with. Uh, I hope you like the little shockwave thing at the bottom here. I might change it up. I might do it better, because it, it looks a little wonky, but... When it's in such a small scale, it doesn't look as bad. So, uh, Let's see. Do they have the stream up yet? No, it doesn't seem like they do. Uh, let's see. Hopefully I can get a call going. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can at least share it to them so they can say hi. Add to link. There we go. Okay. If they don't join, they don't join. You know, but if they do, then that'd be cool. 
Uh, let's see. Hello, people in the chat. Um, let's see. I just saw the thumbnail. What is that? So that's the Ninja Turtles crossover thing. Um, they revealed it like a day before the live stream, which is really dumb. I'm also trying to eat some eggs right here, and I, I haven't I haven't taken a nibble yet, so I should probably do that. Have they started yet? They have. Okay. So we can watch as they're they're doing it. Don't miss out on member only content. Are you sure? Alright, let's close out of that. And I almost hit the stop recording, stop streaming thing. Uh, that would have sucked. Alright, let's switch over to this. Let's uh try and scroll this down a little bit just so that we can get some of this into here. Uh, I don't want the entire thing in this. Just because then I won't get in too much trouble, you know? So, uh, let me move this to the side. There we go. Okay. All right. There we are. Uh, I am not buying four of those. I'm not. I don't think I will. Probably. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not. I'll just buy the one and say, you know what? It's all of them put together. And it can transform into any one of them for any situation. You know, it could transform into someone that looks like Michelangelo. It could transform into someone that looks like Raphael. I have to make a correction. Actually, a couple of corrections. So, I said that Cliff Jumper had a new weapon. He doesn't. It's just how you can convert it. Um, I also mentioned I wasn't really familiar with the Tarantulas. Uh, apparently, it's based on a prototype. And then, uh, the Ninja Turtles bus... I mentioned that the chest can be slapped on, but no, the chest actually comes off, and then underneath has the the shell and the the belt. So, yo, Carnage Creations! Everyone subscribe to him because he uh he sent me something recently. I haven't gotten it yet, but. You know, cool people do that sometimes. So I'm like, hey, you're cool. <laughs> Still streaming? I, I just messaged him, yes. <laughs> I'm actually checking to see if there is any updates. I saw that was on the mainland. I'm not sure if it's out here, though. Yeah, arrived at a local facility for delivery. Okay. And that's today, like four in the morning. So maybe I'll get it on Thursday. Maybe I'll get it on Friday. Yo, dude, the Empire is like pretty chill. You should like join it or something. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should do that with Shockwave. Yo, dudes, the Decepticons are like pretty chill. You should like join it or something. Someone animate that. That's what I, that's what I want. Someone take that clip, animate Shockwave. You could do it stop motion. You could do it however you want. You have my full permission. That's a freebie. While I'm eating eggs. So, Studio Series looks like it's going to be next month, which is stupid because mostly everything is revealed. I swear to God, we're going to see Swoop before they actually announce it. Which, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind because I think we're due for a Swoop. We're due for Swoop. I'm still at it editing up at uh or i'm still up editing ha 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 2 a.m yeah i was up late trying to get the uh crimson flame review done so i got that review actually done rendered complete and scheduled for the 30th so a couple days from now i have a lot of reviews planned actually i have reviews up and scheduled through to July 13th and I've made all of them except for one 
available for members. So if they want to check that out, that's totally fine. And it's not like I was doing that strictly because, hey, you're members and you, you pay for it. And I'm trying to weasel everyone into doing, you know, members. Uh, that, that wasn't the point. The point was I just had these and I thought, okay, this is a nice little thank you to the people who supported my content and want to see more of it. And uh, so there you guys go. If you're a member, you can launch all those reviews super early. Again, one of them is in July. So... You could actually watch the Crimson, uh, was it Crimson Flame review early if you wanted to. Let me try and put that in the middle so it doesn't look as weird. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, because there's a new Ghostbusters movie, I, I, I was messing with um, Ectotron today. And I didn't know he was dusty. So I need to, uh, Brian, what's your Zodiac? I think it's Libra. I'm so happy for return of Titans returns. Oh yeah. With the squeeze play. I I've wanted squeeze play for a long time, but I always thought that's not going to happen because of the name. It, it was just way too ridiculous for them to do. They're doing squeeze play. Okay. What's your play, Hasbro? Squeeze play. That's the play. Now, you can't tell me that Hasbro can't do Eagle Eye from G2. Or Bullet Bike from G2. Those are two I really want to see. Hmm. Afterburner, Hooligan. I know I'm talking a lot of G2 characters, but... I'm thinking of stuff specifically that had a one-off figure. I want to see uh, Terrible. I want to see them redo that. They had the name license. I don't know if they still do, because that was like, what? Eight years ago? Hey, come on. I want to eat you. There you go. I know. Don't talk with your mouth full. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Of course, I had to show off some merch. I'm not even drinking this. All right. Ew, I have Earthrise RC out here. That's disgusting. Are they going to do anything? Come on. Do math. Hello. Oh, we got a timer. Now let's see if we can transform uh, Metal Hawk into alt mode before the stream ends. By the way, I found more images of the... Um, uh, what, what's his name? Farak or Farak or however everyone's pronouncing it. I found more images online. So... It's nothing special, but for some reason when they were revealing some of the Transformers for that, um, they didn't really post too much of the, the white background for that Voyager. It was mostly just the, the stuff that, um, you know, has the typical cool background. But uh, finally they did show that off. Why is this not... Is this have, No, that's not... There we go. Okay. Oh, uh, we only have one minute to transform this guy. Ah... Uh... I gotta do the legs. I don't like doing the legs on this mold. For for both Cyclonus and Melhawk. I think I have to get Farak because I've got every other repaint of the Cyclonus. So I really like Metalhawk actually. I, I didn't think I would because it's a it's just a lesser Cyclonus. But I kinda like that he's a, a simple version of him. Yeah, it doesn't have that twist with the cockpit that that's really cool, but did that really make it for Cyclonus? Is that the only reason why people would buy Cyclonus? I, I don't think so. So, I think it was fine. Alright, come on. Plug in the wings. Alright, uh, weapons. 
Come on. Oh, that's the wrong side. Come on, 20 seconds left. We should do a stream where we just time everything for the transformation. Oh no, the arm popped out. Alright, and then that will tab into there. Metalhawk, alt mode, with seven seconds to spare. <laughs> oh, the sword came off. No, no! Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I like this Voyager. Hey, they're doing a stream now. We should watch it. Uh, your package is at the local sorting center. Should have it. Yeah, it's actually uh, not just at the sorting center. It's um. It's been a long year. It's already been a long year. It's I mean, at we our all shipping stuff. We've got thing. a HasLab going on. Oop. We got Legacy Wave Two that we did last week. Um, yep. You know, a bunch of exclusives. We've been doing something with Target. Every all right. Woohoo! Target exclusives. Yeah, they revealed them too so, early. Uh, to start this off, we're gonna throw it over to a pre-recorded segment with our good friend Kelly from our franchise team. She has some stuff to talk to you about. Had a chance to. Oh, cool! This is gonna be about merch. Awesome artists. So we're gonna have you guys check all that out. We'll be back uh, after that, and we'll talk about some plastic merch. Thank you, BMAC. Let's kick this off with some heavy metal from Fanatic. Check out this Transformers coin. Oh. Bumps on both sides featuring our favorite leaders, Optimus Prime and Megatron. Now it's limited to only 9,995 worldwide. It is individually numbered, as you can see on the back. I love it when they do that individual. In I don't diameter. think I have anything and that's individually numbered. Acrylic cup yeah, your package says uh, arrived at local facility now, for delivery, so I should be able to get it today or tomorrow. I'm, I'm thinking tomorrow, but it, uh, it might also be delayed. Um, also sometimes the, the medallion set. I don't know what's with them, you but sometimes they don't just bring it out until a couple of days, and it's going to be the weekend. It's going to be Easter weekend, the so they might not even bother until later. I love the Autobot and Decepticon logos on those. Are those are pretty cool. little display case that comes within the presentation box. The set is individually numbered, limited to only 5,000 worldwide, and these are available on Pulse today. Hmm. But for those who want something a little less metal and more 80s, we have fresh tunes. How could you say less metal and more 80s? Originally released on vinyl only in 2018, this album features music from seasons one through three of the Transformers animated series. Okay. Which in 1984. Okay. The I like the look of that. Song. And more than 45 minutes of music. You're getting old this week. Oh, no, no. A mix of You're not old. And 80s come inspired come on, tracks, come which on. were remastered from you the original tapes by the one of the original composers, come Rob Walsh. But today, I have a special guest joining to share a sneak peek and a listen to what we will all be jamming out. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Now, most of you know this person as one of the graphic designers behind the movie poster art scene with mm. beautiful anniversary art, like what he did for the Transformers, the movie, a couple years ago. Well, he's back in the Transformers sandbox with some exciting new art and his very first vinyl cover in celebration of the 40th anniversary. Welcome to Matt Ferguson. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Oh. Uh, hello. Can I have your Transformers display? I mean, hey, what's up? <laughs> I feel like if I ever met the guy, that's the first thing I'm going to say. Oh, you got Star Saber. Death Source at the top there. What were you most excited about? Is that the Optimus Prime with the drone at the top? Yeah, it is. It looks like G2 Optimus. Unicron, oh, I, I thought there was going to be a Lego Optimus on, on the top there. I see Ectotron. I'm not even concentrating on what he's saying. Awesome. So how do you feel that the narrative this I like seeing the, the uh, Studio Series Dinobots at the top like there. The That's cool. Here. Was there anything else that you had to accommodate that was different? Uh, Peter Cullen should host SNL. I would not be against that at all. Straight away, you have to think about the space for that real estate and the art where that's going to go, which obviously is going to be on the back, but still, lots of space. So. I'm sorry that I keep looking down. I was just 
trying to check something. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a lot more text on these than the this. posters. There we go. So we how go. did you tackle this to make it feel authentic? Were there like any adjustments or liberties you had to take with the art? I'm pretty sure there I just missed the art if they showed it. <laughs> My bad. Cartoon series. So first of all, I wanted it to you're a Halo fan, right? Yes. I not so much the games. I'm not really a gamer. Um, but I like the idea of the franchise, the the aesthetic of the franchise. So I've got a lot of the uh, the Halo Mega Construct stuff on the side there. Yeah, I've been collecting that for probably a decade and a half now. Since 2009. So yeah, it'd be a decade and a half now. Um, and just. Yeah, sort of accommodating that cartoon style in the approach. Hasbro should hire me because I'm designing concepts for Transformers nice. well, of and NASCAR collaboration. Tour. Talking, That'd be cool. Were there some differences like in the smokestacks that you wanted to focus in on? Yes, yeah, so obviously in the in the original cartoon, the way they did it was quite oh, quick. My eyes all goopy right now. Cartoon, and it was cell shaped. Or I have an eyelash in there. It's one of the metal. two. It was usually just sort of like grey with a black line on. But I wanted to bring in more of a sort of chrome, a slight sort of realistic shading. So it's like the, the cartoon models of the characters are exactly how what they are. What do they have on the show? Video and gems? A bit more of the sort of shading and styling from like the toys and also just like reality. Just, just give it a bit more dimension. I really need to, I, just while he's talking, I'm not trying to ignore him, but. Uh, I really need to pick up more Legacy United. I have yeah, five no, figures, and I've had them since December. Get it to where it's at, which is great. Um, so, just some. I should really get the we chase. I really want the, that. Uh, uh, Bumblebee's caught my eye. I'm curious but, what you were keen uh, to keep. Apparently, he's going to be packed in the next wave. From so. the first release in '85 versus the 2018 release. Well, when I'm doing. Some oh, so they're just interviewing him. Okay. Thought you might be interested. Or, All Hell Megatron one thousand has the made the cartoon, I just beam sword for sort of TFs on their Etsy it page. Hmm. In 1985, like, so far, you know, I've designed. It's got a sort of vintage hmm. style to it. I can confirm B is really good. Yeah. Accuracy to. He's on Amazon. It's it's not like I. I uh, it's not like he's not available. It's just I haven't. Um, but yeah, the approach was just to make it like the memory of the cartoon, how I liked it back then. My memory. Cool. And uh, I think we actually do have a little time lapse video of the art that you created. Ooh, I like watching these. Can show that here. Oh, uh, music, music, music. Okay. There we go. It's hot rod. <laughs> this is awkward, right? Or just me? Yeah, it's just, uh, it, who's me or the interview? I don't think the guy's awkward. It's just, you know, he just seems quiet and that's fine. No, it's roll bar. It's, it's Pikachu. I like how jazz just appears. I'm starting to appreciate Jazz more and more. It's Yellow Bug Bite. Yeah, my favorite Bug Bite. It'd never be you. I am a very awkward person, I'll have you know. If you came up to me, I'd be like, Go ahead. I could confirm this. Also, I didn't realize how much the rifle Jazz has in the image looks so much like the toy. I actually have the um, the Ricochet and the Jazz, I think it was a reissue. I can't remember what line exactly. I think it, commemorative. It, it was the commemorative series. I, I got that Jazz. So it's obviously high resolution artwork uh, done on a computer, but kind of like I think take into account that when like the logos and the art 
originally made in the 80s, it was all kind of done by somebody. So I, I tried to give it that feel by sort of making it all custom. Apart from like about the them turtles logos, which are obviously going to stay. I like turtles. There's definitely something in my eye right now, bugging me. like it was painted as a whole, um, like a, a different painting in a way. Um, yeah. I don't know why, but right now what's going through my head is tennis for All right, so the Nintendo last Wii. Question here, Just, and a, I'm pretty sure I know the answer. I, I don't know why that's going on in my head. Autobot. It's not even related to what's going on here. I just, for some oh, reason, just had a moment where, uh, oh. Why the front uh, center on this artwork. I just played a video game in my head. Yeah. That Vanmo was pretty sweet. Yeah, That's fair. I think but so. I have to say, for everybody who hasn't seen it yet, which you will soon, you did end up representing both factions. Is Dumb Jake here? Beautifully balanced. Uh, you actually He's cool. Four you did a video that I like. A couple of videos that I like. How you decided which they were cool videos. You wanted to use. Like, what was on your required list to make the cut? So it's all sort of taken essentially from the opening <laughs> someone really wants leader class swoop if they do that they won the entire month of march and a little bit of the end credit like like we've we've had problems with a lot of these live streams but if they do that the month of march is 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 is, is, is a success it's that whole thing of them just sort of running at each other but they won't i don't think I think they're waiting that uh, for was it Wonderfest? I keep stuttering. I notice I do that a lot, especially lately. I don't like it. All right, so that's all we have time for today. I want everyone to get ready to feast. Just to do a series scar reveal. Oh my god! If they do that, I'd be pissed. That include a new front and back cover, inner gatefold, sleeves, and J cards. So this vinyl is remastered audio by Sony Music, and it comes across two premium colored LP splatter hmm. designs, manufactured Didn't by Didn't expect Memphis Sony to be involved. Pressing plus two additional bonus tracks for a total of forty-two tracks. Forty from the original. The Paul Stream has no chill as usual. I think it's a little too chill. Thanks for saying that, man. I appreciate. It. No problem. So. This Would you rather receive Cliff Jumper or we'll Air Razor? Physical copies at San Diego I feel like those two are vastly we'll different, so I can't really there. pinpoint. Matt, thank you so um, much for your time. Probably Air Razor. Although I feel like Cliff Jumper is almost a requirement because I pretty much have every version of Cliff Just Jumper except for the, the I think it was an SDCC, for the Prime Universe, uh, really the head uh, case thing that was like a plastic head that looked like the Terracon. And... I don't have the Legion class uh, yeah, toy. Let's get to the plastic. Uh, I teased the collab at the end of last week's stream, saying it was pretty tubular. Radical. I forget which one we said. <laughs> tubular. Kind of, it's kind of radical, of bro. So, um, being very honest, I'm on a plane right now. Not even get a chance to watch this. I'm on my way to Wonder Oh, revive. Really wonderful people, but here there is, is the official reveal for Project Renaissance. Because at least Cliff Jumper had a spotlight. Um, Shout out to Matt Cohen. Um, photo shoot hey, there's the turtle bus. So you can see Air Razor. Vehicle, never showed up in so robot mode and that bothers me so much so yeah i had to make a correction that the front of the chest comes off let's check out this third photo. Uh, also i didn't mention that the wheel at the front there pops out and it's a pizza so again this really fun shot on the rooftop um you can see there are like five dead cliff troopers yeah i'm, I'm talking about specifically transformers items. prime let's check it out on the table here this thing is awesome Party oh box. i love that box I can't believe we're doing a Turtles collab, man. <laughs> so this good. is amazing. Yeah, so our good friends at Nickelodeon and Ninja Turtles are... Wow, that looks so cool. That looks like a... That looks like a Transformer toy that I, I would grow up and see in, in, in the box. wanted to get this out there. So yeah, as you can see, he comes fully kitted out with all the things, right? He has two katanas. He has a He's got staff, all the weapons. So you can see one in his hand. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that there's a spot for all the masks. Super fun. Um, and then there's some ability here on oh I love how the armor kind of drapes over the shoulder the like that it, it looks like samurai armor head just like pulls off pops on so you can swap it so see so you can see all the different masks that you can plug on I'm probably just gonna do the green just so that it's a generic 
guy. You can also see that it looks like in the belt it's just a generic logo, but I can't tell. God, I love that package, though. Don't take that out of context. But I, I, I like that box. Transformers Prime package. Yeah, you know what? It reminds me of the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters. It's a plastic box, too. <laughs> Is it all four? So you get all four masks that you could swap on the head. So it could be the generic robot party wallop. That's what they're naming it. By the way, it says Autobot. Um, or you can swap it to look like Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, the other one. Very awesome. Um, but uh, coming yeah. Out later this summer, but we'll be available for pre-order today at one p.m. Calabunga, dude. Or, and all of no, it's Cowabunga, like not Calabunga. Um, tons of stuff. More to come on this. More, more stuff. And other mainline retailers. Okay. okay. So you'll be able to get it at, let's say, GameStop, maybe Target. I feel like Target's gonna be filled with them. I would definitely wait on buying it because Target might have it on clearance. Because it's like, what, 55 bucks for this? That's probably so mostly the COVID, licensing, let's though. Talk about an item that's getting a reissue. Um, Ghostbusters. Yes! I called it! <laughs> I was going to bring my Ectotron! And I didn't, because I was like, uh, they're probably not going to show anything for that. And then they do! Damn it! <laughs> uh, okay. I love this figure a lot. If you guys can get this figure and you love Ghostbusters, go ahead and get it. I love Ghostbusters. It is my favorite movie. Like, just out I, I, of any movie, Ghostbusters is my number one. So. I'm, I'm glad to see it being reissued. I'm glad to see that people are getting it. I'll have to repost my review for the Ectotron. I did that for Halloween one year. Ghostbusters is very topical and relevant. Again, pop culture is kind of the focus of today all around. So I love that slime that comes in the pack. That's fun. It's a really, slime. I mean, yeah. it's a very awesome vehicle all around. Good color. It is. It's very, very iconic and all very, things. It's exciting. All right. Right now, I'm so trying to look for that review. Hey, I found it. Exclusive that was revealed as part of our. Hey, it says I'm live. Release. So here you can see Shockwave um, from the comic pack. There we go. Okay, so this is the. You can check him out here in his bot mode, Ooh. along with that floating Optimus Prime head that we have talked about a little bit here and there. <laughs> I the love the look of that <laughs> with the <laughs> spine so sticking out. Here we out. have it in hand. Let's Evan. I mean, let's talk about this little comic universe pack we have right now. Well, okay, the G1 comic books. A lot of people. Oh, so they do say comic universe. Mm -hmm. and a lot of times we celebrate the animation, but we don't really talk about the G1 comic element much. It's kind of set up the cartoon and uh, was like yeah, media a first. Yeah. It's amazing. It is. Um, for those that don't remember, I think it was from issues like 5 to 12, Optimus Prime was a severed head <laughs> uh, in the comic book. Just, uh, I'm sorry that I'm not saying anything. I, I, I just, I really wanted to share the review. So I'd be like, hey, I'm relevant. And then I'd just pretend that I'm relevant. I worked with Hasui-san on this. <laughs> where we were like, I want to make an accessory of <laughs> that. And he was like, oh, we've never done that done before. That. Yeah. Oh, okay, I've got ideas. No, not a pull. He came up with this and mimicked the comic pretty perfectly. Uh, I love uh, the halftone pattern do I... that you actually have. It's kind of weird. Around these characters. We were kind of yeah. trying to figure out okay. how to do... Apparently I can't like, share the video right now. I, I think it's fun. I think it's interesting. Oh, wait. No, I can't. I could just go to the video and make a post. Instead of, like, the dark purple that yeah. Isn't it fun watching a guy post a video? Yeah. Light purple. That yeah. gives me some vibes. And then the packaging here is a lot There we too. go. Um, we have a fifth panel box. Here no, don't do that. Up, um, very much like a book. So you get that feel when you open it up and you look inside. Mm -hmm. um, has the iconic Till All Are Dead cover. Ooh. Um, Such a good cover. cover. Since they announced a re-release. <laughs> are, are All Dead. I always say it wrong. Um. Here's my old review of clearly showed Grimlock. I think that image has made its way over oh, there. I see let's so let's Grimlock. hashtag it. There will be more of these coming. Ghost uh, you know, Busters Ectotron. The, there we go. <laughs> the severed head holding mechanism <laughs> for Optimus Prime is a bit consumer assembled. It will come on. All right. That you kind of have to nip out yourself. It's fine like yeah. that. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyways, I love this comic style. I love how bright the purple is. Legacy Signal Lancer. Oh, that'd be cool. Cyberverse Optimus and Bumblebee for Legacy? Mm, I'm not sure if that's important enough right now. Although, I've been surprised multiple times. Hey, there's the Optimus. would never happen. Um... So this item is a Pulse exclusive. Will be available for pre-order today as well. 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. HasbroPulse.com. Boo. Make sure you get your pre-orders in. I have a feeling these are going to be very popular. My lips are going to be super red by the time I finish that. Quickly. And there are more coming. There are more, yeah. Yes. We have, we have the Grimlock. Like to hear. We have the Grimlock that we've already revealed. He'll be he'll be coming for pre-order sometime next month. We'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're the just doing the Shockwave for now, and then they'll do yeah, the Grimlock yeah. later. Very okay. A lot of things. There's a lot of, a lot things, of things to do in the right. comic, yep. yeah. So then lastly for the item to show off today, this was actually revealed by our good friend Target. They put this up for pre-order early this morning. This is their fourth um, exclusive of the month. Oh, yeah, the four-pack. So let's check... Check Guys, pretend to be awesome surprised. Wow! Also, shot by our good friend Dave White. Here you can see Cliff Jumper versus three Decepticons. This fun little action pose you can see go around for characters. God, I love the look of and Cliff Jumper. I, 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 I really want this pack. Getting, um, I, I want it for Cliff Jumper and I want it for Squeeze Play mainly. That people are going to be very excited um, for. And then one that I definitely hinted at way back at PulseCon. Um, so I think this pack's pretty fun. And then let's check this out on the table here. And Mark's going to drop some... Uh, oh, my God. I can't believe they're doing so squeeze yeah, play. Yeah, we'll put the squeeze play <laughs> right in the front there. So he's a partial of a mind wipe. Worked with Hasui-san on this character. And as you know, in Super Gotten Master Force, he was known as Cancer. So the character that Okay, is so they did mention master, the original and, name. Uh, open him up here. He actually resembles that character as well. Nice. Yeah, he's got the face plate mask on. It's pretty cool. The so colors are lovely. Yeah. Colors are definitely strong. And I love like the stats on the his, chest. Like, shield, and I just love the whole crazy snaked out cobra crab <laughs> with <laughs> like mm. you can put the little yeah. Browning gun in there. It's it's they mentioned cool. Browning. I knew it. I had yeah, specifically yeah, said so, that that gun looks yeah, like so the Megatron once toy. We did like Fangry and a yep. couple of other those other characters. We're gonna try to flesh out that uh, whole collection. So we all. Okay, so they are going to try and do more of the, the Titans so as you or see, Headmasters. So. Jumper, he's kind of the hero of this pack. It's him against three big bad Decepticons, really. So I'm hoping for terrible. I definitely didn't hint at that at PulseCon. We showed off Chase, and like it was fun to watch. Like By the end of the day, you all had nailed where we were going. There was two different I love the fact that they acknowledged that everyone knew that was Cliff Jumper. Kunihiro san worked on that character and he really went overboard to try to get like horns on the front you know the, the hmm. horns <laughs> like, so i need to get cute. this thing because and i have so many other cliff jumpers but the, the four packs have really uh, weird releases blaster, so i managed to find the, the first time. legacy really buzzworthy pack but none of the other scheme. ones yeah. so i don't have the kingdom one and then uh, the on, we'll jump over evolution one we'll go to Tarantulas. We'll Just go didn't show. Tarantulas. Okay, so Tarantulas. Tarantulas. As some of you know, in Beast Wars, when Tarantulas' toy was first featured in the commercial, he was featured as like a translucent orange spider. Okay, and so yes, they did confirm that out. that's the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get it in translucent, but he is orange, and he is looking very Teenage Mutant Turtle-esque. Nah. With his green <laughs> helmet there. But... It also matches. I might redo my video talking about this four pack, the and then just the unless the original one. Had her, uh, almost, so it's uh, not completely gone. It's just what was it? Leopard you know, print, not the focus yeah, right yeah. Now. bathing yeah. suit on type of deal. That character really does reign supreme with this character. They're the same color green, so they make quite the duo mm -hmm. when you get them next to each other. Okay. Plus, it just looks amazing in these colors. Yeah. Like, it's a good the shiny like gold yeah. you got on here. And it looks like one of the horror cons from Transformers head, Universe. Right there, that Hisui san did design as well. Also, so here we jump in over to the Cyberverse Universe. Our boy there. So they did confirm that Cyberverse Universe Tar. Pretty wild in that episode. He's like an army of did they? Whoa! They gave him the sword. Crazy, like silver grimace on his face. So we did it. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. It actually looks really cool. And we were able to put in the sword that was from that Bludgeon mold in with him. So he's really armed to the teeth, and the colors obviously sing. That's so smoke. cool. Okay, they won me over on to Arn. Again, this was revealed in pre-order. The colors are really good. Standard time today. Limited quantities available on Hasbro 
pulse as well as on target. I can't believe they gave him the sword, actually. I know it, it, it would be simple enough, but I'm, I'm very surprised that they even bothered to do so. Yeah. Super fun. Yeah. One of like the best deals for the year every year tends to be this four pack that we've been able to pull off. So Voyager, three deluxes, yeah, so all good. brand new characters. Yeah. <laughs> all brand new characters like Tarn. I mean, really spectacular stuff here. All right. Yeah. So that does oh, it for fantastic. physical product today. Um, one thing I've been seeing is like, hey, you guys haven't been doing this through the Space Church segment. Well, we had four of these planned. We were doing 40th yeah. anniversary stuff only for the whole month. So we were focusing on legacy product and 40th anniversary exclusives exception of a couple things like the Ectotron that was just you know get it back out there it's a good pop culture moment mm -hmm. so uh let's go back to the space bridge it's <gasps> been a while right so up first uh, I don't think any of these are really going to shock anybody because it seems like a lot of these have leaked out um some are available, <laughs> some are available. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah we available we know guys we know but it's okay. still exciting to hear them talk about it Okay, so they are talking about Studio yeah, Series. The are they going to say yeah. Swoop? God, that is ugly art. That is ugly looking for Sunstreaker. I am sorry. Some people tried to defend it. I cannot get into it. The chest is way too wide. He looks like if they tried to make a Bumblebee movie lead foot and had some inspiration by the movie design. Sideswipe. Okay, yeah, Sideswipe we've seen that. He's out. Like, he's released. Actually, no. Sunstreaker is available on Amazon Canada. I could have ordered him the other day. It wasn't, like, yeah, it wasn't dead on. So we were the toy looks better, miles better. Oh, oh. And yes, when I was planning the way, I did. specifically put Sunstreak. My dad's in the chat. Together. Everyone say hi to my yes, dad. Of course. Right. of course you did. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, and then he should be driving right now. Uh, again, we get to do is what someone's yelling out, out yeah, from the door. Shockwave. Shockwave. Uh, let's check out Voyager Shockwave here through the See, that art looks fine. A lot of fun. Sam actually worked on this. Yes, he did. He yeah. definitely looks like he's actually walking yeah. through that portal. Cool. So they didn't do Skywarp for this wave, I guess. Uh, last but not least, coming through the Space Bridge, I don't think this is going to surprise anybody, but we're going to officially say... Yes! Um, check out this image. We got Leader Swoop, finally. Swoop. <laughs> uh, I need... Yeah. To swoop. Yeah. Uh, so, you know... Thank you for uh, not killing the pit. Yeah, you know, I, I joked about it a lot. Like, hey, you know, if you keep it up, I'm just going to show and stop before Dino Rock. But no, uh, Swoop is awesome. I can't wait to show him off and get that out there. And then Prime would have a complete Dino Rock collection. It's a really that, awesome. Accessory. I'll tell you, when I walked into Evan's cube and he had them all displayed, Guys, I fell over. It's, very, it's, it's Swoop time. Office, you have it's swooping time. <laughs> we are here for it. We are here for Swoop. Is it going to be shown at Wonderfest? I guess we'll have to wait and see. That's one I have to get. I genuinely have to get. I have been throughout, was it four years that they've been making, getting every single Studio Series Dinobot that they've ever released. The one I'm missing, of course, is the one that they haven't made yet, is Dinobot Swoop. If I miss out, I'm screwed. Ten out of ten streak. You know what they? It's not really too many reveals, but the way they present it and actually explain certain stuff, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with today's stream. By comparison with the other ones, it's it's definitely it definitely almost feels like a Stockholm syndrome type thing. But uh, you know what? I, I I'll take this stream. Out of everything that they did, I'll take this one. And they actually did reveal the packaging for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thing, so I guess that's fine. And they revealed they're reissuing Ectotron. So at least they are actually revealing something, you know? It's not brand spanking new, it's a figure from years ago. But whatever. I hope it has the same packaging. We need SS Rise of Beast concept art seekers. Uh, concept art seekers from Rise of the Beast. 
they're all SS Bumblebee Blitzwing repaints. I don't know why they'd be Rise of the Beast concepts and not Bumblebee movie concepts. Um, for Rise of the Beast concepts, I want I want Transit. That'd be cool. TMT Wave Ecto four pack and three official announces and swoop finally. Yep. Pretty sure I kept that Paracon symbol on there. Actually, <laughs> no, I'm saying. Uh, uh, yeah, oh yeah, he's got the Paracon symbol on there. Okay. Right. Perfect, perfect. So, um, thank you again for joining us. What's every Thursday for the last four weeks? It's been a lot going on. Thank you again to everybody that backed the HasLab. Yeah. Highest backer count total ever. Second highest for all HasLab. Yeah, for Transformers. For Transformers, yeah. sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Second yeah thanks for clarifying, because when I said that, someone snapped at me. The celebration of 40 years, one legacy is working. Every series at somebody's G1, and apparently mm -hmm. the bus in disguise was definitely a lot of people's G1, it seems. Yeah. So, <laughs> and the, it was when those cars came back into town, yeah. man. That's true. <laughs> <Rock Nut Monkey. laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, very excited to finally get that into production officially, so we can't wait to get that in your hands next year. So, uh, until next time, we'll be back in April with a fan stream at some point. More to come on that. Ooh. But Studio Series revealed and pre-ordered soon. Yep. Soon. I'm just going to keep saying soon. soon. I think you'll all get it. Uh, more to come. For those of you who are coming to WonderCon this weekend, I look forward to seeing you all. Uh, I believe our panel is 3 p.m. in room 300E, so make sure to line up early because I don't know how big the capacity is. Um, but definitely stop by. I'm just listening in to see if us. That'll be a lot of fun. So until next time, Transformer okay. fans, uh, thank you again for celebrating 40 years, one legacy with us all month. Lots more to come. We have a very busy year. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the celebration sure. is not just this month. No, no, no. It's, it's for the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, until next time. All right, the music's we'll playing. La, 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 la. Okay. So, uh, that is all four live streams. Uh, obviously, I didn't do the first one myself. Uh, but I, I, I did do the reaction live stream with, uh, I think it was Dr. Lockdown. And was that toy guy there? I think he was. But... For the other three streams, I, I wanted to do these and, and see how I do. And I guess it worked out. Um, so, yeah. Pretty exciting stuff coming out. But I think I'm going to hold off because I need to get that swoop. I, 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 ju I just do. Okay? If I don't get that swoop, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to do something I'll regret. Ooh. Uh, let's see, with Hasbro giving back the Pontiac license, I'm hoping we get a, oh, that scrolled up. <laughs> uh, let's see, oh, I'm going to the wrong thing, come on, there we go. Uh, Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> uh, so where was par Party Wallet going to be pre-order at? Uh, I think it was Pulse and Target, uh, I, I'm not 100% sure. But you know what? We got the swoop announced. We knew we were getting swoop. I mean, no one is surprised. They they officially said no one will be surprised by any of these reveals for Studio Series. It's just exciting to hear that they actually said, Hey, 86 swoop is happening. You're getting that. You better like it. Well, um, but yeah. Knight Rider, that's one I want. Swoop. Hey, hobbies, hobbies with Joe. Everyone, go go to his channel too. Reads toy reviews. Uh, that means Target will probably get these in bulk. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's why I said about the Ninja Turtle. Just wait till it goes on clearance. I, I I think I would buy one right off the bat, so I have one, and then buy the rest when they're on clearance, because we know they're gonna be on clearance. They're going to they're gonna sell a whole bunch of them. They're probably going to reissue them so that they're still on the shelves. We need Swoop. Well, you know what? That hashtag doesn't work anymore because we do have Swoop coming. So, I want SS Concept Art Earth Modes for the film Cybertron Autobots. Uh, that'd be cool for the Bumblebee movie. Uh, so, anyways, I do have to head out. Uh, but I thank you guys for checking into the stream and, and checking out what I had to say about certain stuff. 
Um, this was definitely a better stream. The overall idea of this whole thing, I get there were a ton of things that they wanted to talk about, so maybe that's why they had to do so many announcements or so many streams, but they should have just done a couple in February, or at least one in February. We didn't need one every week for March. You know, it, it, it's just... I, I think my biggest problem is there were a couple of things that they could have revealed and announced, but they announced it a day before. It, it's not even that things got leaked and they, they did these streams way too late. I kind of get that because you can't really control what's what's being leaked. Um, but what does bother me is when they just straight up show off official images of the turtle buzz or the four pack. And it's like, okay, well, now you're doing the live stream. Are we meant to be surprised now? Because we're, we're not anymore. Um, so yeah, uh, anyone who wants to animate Shockwave doing that one bit where he's like, uh, I'll just do it again if in case people need the audio. Hey, oh God, now I can't remember what, what the line is. Hey, the Decepticons are like pretty chill. You should, like, join them or something. I think that's the line. I don't know. I said a proper line earlier. Uh, I need to head to bed. So yeah, I'm, I'm heading out. So, with that, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. All those fun dudettes. I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. And also, we're on the road to 30,000 subscribers. So, you know, there's that. Um... So if you can make sure that you're sub, I, I definitely appreciate that. But anyways, I will see you guys next time. Blech.